Hey there, Waking Leader. Are you in a rut and not sure about 2023? Are you feeling overwhelmed, tired, and you just can't seem to find that peace that you need during this season of Christmas to New Year's? Like, do you feel me? Does that make sense? It's like that window, that gap. It's like, peace be still, but you're struggling with being still. In this quick 10 episode, I'm going to talk to you specifically about Call to Conquer and how this 25-week experience is going to help you enter into 2023 and transition into the fruitful character of Jesus Christ. Let's get started. Hey, Awaken Leader, welcome to the Niche to Nations podcast, where I help you identify your calling and fruitfully prep for online business life, okay? Well, you fold laundry, enjoy homeschool life, or maybe binge watch while the kids nap. (laughs) Let's be real, okay, mama? This quick 10 episode is for you to pray, plan, prep, proceed so that you can hit publish on your future podcast and or your self-published book that you are ready to start building as you work from peace and not chaos. So let's package your leadership method, self-publish it and build a business and launch to the nations. It's time for your story to be heard. Let's get started. All righty, Wicked Leader. So our focus scripture for this quick 10 is James 1 verses 2 and 3. And it reads, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Verse 3, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Now, this highlighted for me because if you have been following me on social media at Connect Coach, I um, have been led to focus the end of the year with 14 days of joy and prayer. Now, this is my self-published journal, and essentially it's a, a tool, a roadmap for 10 days to basically help you get it together with daily life focus tasks. So you start with day one, a morning routine. Day 12 is asking a question, how important is the joy of the Lord for you? And, you know, day 14 actually ends with how has prayer unleashed your joy? And so this is a tool because the title of the journal for the Get Your Fruit Back series is 14 Days of Joy and Prayer, Embracing Joy in the Midst of Trials. And so right here, James is talking about counting it all joy when you fall into various trials. I don't know about you. But it seems like there has been trials left and right, back to back. And I'm going to be honest with you. I started to become numb with the trials that were happening. And the Lord was like, you need to do 14 days of joy and prayer. And it was for me, yo girl, who self-published this, okay? Now, why? I'm sharing this because I'm not perfect, right? I fall short every single day. But I think a lot of times as leaders, we look to other leaders thinking that they're perfect, that they're in this glass house and it's so perfect and everything is Instagram ready and it's not. Uh, One of the things, and it was a positive and a negative, but the Lord has always told me to be straight up and honest as a leader, when I'm working with my clients, whether it's group or in a one-on-one mentorship leadership setting. And the pros of that was they got to really see like, this isn't a glass house. Like it's, it can break, right? Like it's not perfect. I fall short every day. I'm constantly living a life of repentance. I literally read the Bible like today's verse. And I was like, Lord, I repent. Like I did not count it all joy when this was happening the past couple of weeks of my life, because let's just, Lord, you know, like I was there. 
And so with this encouragement, I want to encourage you to rest your beautiful eyes on this particular scripture. Again, it's James 1 verses um, 2 and 3. And I actually want to encourage you to read the entire chapter because the takeaway from this on this quick 10 is what are you doing in the midst of the various trials? Are you complaining? I was. I had to repent. Like, I understand that we go through things and it's like, oh my goodness, like again, again, again. See, it's like the enemy wants to get you in a barrel roll, okay? And it, like an alligator roll. I call it an alligator roll, which is a barrel roll. So go onto YouTube and search how um, alligators, crocodiles attack their prey, okay? They basically jump, pounce on top of you, jump on top of you, and they keep you underwater and they roll you in circles. So you get dis disoriented. You have no clue which way is up to where you can jump up and catch your breath. And then you basically just drown and suffocate, okay? The devil is a liar, okay? A lot of times this crocodile or this serpent was pride for me. I didn't know when to ask for help. I didn't know when to say no. And one of the issues is boundaries, not being, not knowing how to communicate effectively a no. When somebody drops something on you at the last minute, do you get super hyper focused and freaked out and you lash out and you respond like, no, and it's mean and it's horrible and there's a huge fallout? Or do you sit back and say, hey, um, I actually don't have time to do that right now. Uh, let me get back to you. Let me see if I can work it in in the next couple of days. I'm going to need some time to rearrange some things. God willing, he always makes a way. If it's meant for me to be a part of this, I'll be a part of it. Now, I know it's easier said than done, okay, <laughs> because let me tell you recently over the past couple of weeks, it was not the easiest thing for me, okay? I had a lot of bumps and I'm so grateful for God's grace, his love and his mercy because had I had not gone, gone through this and chose to go through it, I wouldn't have a testimony right now for you that unlocked a huge amount of joy in my daily life, as well as my marriage. God is faithful. God is faithful. Because not only did we get through a trial, I was calmer. I was, I had, I believe I had more patience. I had to pour into my children more. And let's face it, when kids get sick, it's just, it takes a lot out of you. Um, I had to stay on top of things. It was the holidays. And I'm pretty much at a point where, you know, Christmas for us is celebrating the birth of Jesus and enjoying family time. So our main focus was we want to be able to be healthy and enjoy our time with our family and just share the love of Jesus, how he got us through another year and praise God for all of these blessings. And that's why I want to encourage you to really tap in and ask yourself, is complaining keeping your patients away from you? Or are you fixing your thoughts on things above so that you can grow in patience? Stay tuned to this message. Okay, Awaken Leader, I want to invite you to our weekly... Are you ready? Can you do a drum roll? I can't right now. Or it would be too cheesy. But I want to invite you to our weekly leadership call, okay? This is the Awakened Leaders Weekly Leadership Hangout. This is where we are focusing for the next 25 weeks. Can you believe it? The next 25 weeks. All about the 25 characteristics of Jesus. Now, I'm super excited to be launching this and bringing this to the podcast to let you know everything is can be found in the link in the description. It's on Clubhouse, okay? It's, I know it's a new app. You go there, you get into it, but it's like a podcast type of environment 
where you get to share your story. So this week, we're actually going to be kicking off on week two, and we're focusing on patience and what it means to be patient. And I am going to be delivering whatever the Lord has given me. And you are going to have the opportunity to respond, unmute your mic, and I want to hear from you. So click the link in the description and let's get started.